All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? As we all saw on social media yesterday, Nikki and Cardi B were at each other's throats, probably all about nothing. Uh, some rich people problems and some positioning in the rap game. Honestly, both of these chicks, they want that top spot. They want to be that person. Say they can say whatever they want to say in front of the camera, but this comes down to this comes down to real estate, to be honest with you. And both of these women feel like they should be number one. Both of them got strong cases. One feels as if though she's been atop the charts and she still raps her bars and she's the most successful rapper who actually writes her bars. The other person, um, she's making better music, all right? And she's like, I'm the hotter artist that more people want to work with. We make better music, I'm making hits, even though I don't write it. I'm an artist and I'm the top dog. And from there we got problems of jealousy and all type of other stuff. Now it hit the fan yesterday uh, after Nicki Minaj did Queen Radio and she was talking something about having some footage on Cardi B and something about she got footage that her Nicki's homegirl Riley beat Cardi B up. She's like, I got the footage. Then she's like, I want a hundred grand for the footage. And then Cardi went on Instagram and she dropped like 85,000 videos in Nicki's direction about this and that and beefing back and forth. That's not the point of this video. Listen, I like using this, this quote throughout my life. We're here now. All right, they've been beefing back and forth. How do we resolve this issue? Or maybe we can never um, be friends, but how do we get to the point where we can work in the same space so the BET Awards or the MTV Awards ain't gotta try to make a decision? Who do I need to have at my show? All right? Now, I noticed on Twitter late last night, it looks like Nikki and Cardi tried to reconcile to a degree. I think they finally looked up and was like, yo, we entertaining everybody, but it's coming at our expense. This is real shit going on. We talking about really violently doing things to each other and we're both in positions of power. I would assume people have gotten into each other's ear uh, after Nikki did Queen Radio and after Cardi went on Instagram and said, yo, this is stupid. What does this get us? Y'all don't ever have to be friends. That Y'all can't just not be friends and not like each other and not allow y'all fan base to, to, to divide y'all apart and make y'all beef with each other, all right? Nikki tweeted out, okay, you guys, let's focus on positive things only from here on out. We are all so blessed. I know this stuff is entertaining and funny to a lot of people, but I won't be discussing this nonsense anymore. Thank you for the support and encouragement year after year. Love you, all right? And Cardi, she hopped on her Instagram account and she combated that, all right? She was definitely there for Nikki's energy after, again, I'm guessing she felt as if though she was a part of the, the, the clown race just like Nikki was, all right? She posted Nikki's tweet and said, all right, Nikki, let's keep it positive and keep it pushing, all right? Now, here's the problem with that. They can say that, but talk is just one thing. It's those behind the scenes actions that are going to dictate how these two um, queens uh, move forward and who's gonna be stopping who from getting on the record. Is there gonna be jealousy? Is it gonna, that's what a lot of this stuff comes back down to, the motorsport record, the no flag. That's where a lot of this stuff comes down to. And if these two can keep the same energy that they had at the end of last night, maybe just maybe it could work. If they keep the energy that they had earlier in the day and maybe not show it in the mainstream world and they just kind of boggle it in and, and this is how we get to this point and they keep that energy when they're with their labels and if Cardi's in the room with Atlantic and she's like, nah, I don't want Nikki there or I don't want on this record or if Nikki's trying to play some politics to Cardi and keep her away at certain award shows, we're going to get right back to where these two were yesterday, earlier in the day. Hopefully they piece it up and um, keep it moving. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Yo, as I grow older, I realize this. We don't have to be friends, but we can just be in the same room and work from opposite ends of the spectrum. I don't got to love everything that another person does. All I got to do is respect you. I think I got this shit from Gucci one time in a Breakfast Club interview. Said he was in a club with Jeezy and T.I. one time, I believe. And he was like, look, I was in a club with him. He's like, I don't like Jeezy, period. I don't like him. I never like him. I don't, he ain't a legend to me. But he was like, look, he stay over there. I stay over here. If he come over here, it's going to be some problems. That's how I'm, uh, the philosopher Gucci man gave me that. And that's kind of how I'm rolling with it in life. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Yo, we listening to Gucci quotes, man. That's, yo, wow. Gucci's the one that ain't beefing in 2018. And Nicki Minaj is the one beefing. That's crazy how things have progressed. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. 
I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the coach. I got the kids. They are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.